All right, now to new warnings this morning about an American staple, rice. Consumer Reports is releasing a new report detailing what it calls worrisome levels of arsenic in many common types of rice products. The FDA is also out with a similar report today. So what does this mean for your family's health and the family dinner table? ABC's Jim Mavala is in Washington with that. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Elizabeth. It's a world staple. The starch that feeds babies to seniors and now a troubling warning to limit how much rice we eat from a prominent source. Rice eaten just once a day can drive arsenic levels in the human body up 44%. Eaten twice a day can lead to a 70% increase in arsenic, according to a sobering report released to Good Morning America by Consumer Reports magazine this morning. Consumers ought to take steps to moderate their consumption. Consumer Reports tested for arsenic in many forms of rice, from cereal for babies and adults to brown and white whole grain, pasta and rice milk. Many contain what the magazine calls worrisome levels of arsenic. Some products had five times more than the arsenic found in oatmeal one and a half times more than the EPA's legal standard for drinking water. Inorganic arsenic is considered a level one carcinogen linked to lung and bladder cancer. Today, the FDA will announce it is studying arsenic in rice too and recommends a varied diet. Consumer Reports wants more. We called for that on apple juice in January. We're calling for that again in rice products today. Surprisingly, when it comes to arsenic, the less nutritional white rice is better than brown, since the carcinogen is most prevalent in the outer layers of the grain, and white rice is polished, removing some of those layers. The USA Rice Federation does not dispute that arsenic is in rice, but says, well, that is a scary word. There is no documented evidence of actual illness linked to rice. Rice is a safe and nutritious food. These are very, very low levels. Now, rice contains more arsenic than other grains, experts say, because it's grown while submerged in water, soaking the poison from the ground into the rice. One suggestion from Consumer Reports, rinse it well until the water's clear and then cook the rice in fresh water, lots of it, a six to one ratio.